Look, there's a water thief in the kitchen. Somebody's stealing Jack's water. Look at it. He might like that He likes stuff. Jack's water for some reason. Well, you know, I put that stuff in it for Jack's teeth and breath. Yeah. Maybe he likes that. <laughs> Well, we weren't going out today because of the weather. So there's no uh, no info, no video, except for this. We decided to go late. We had been working on a program for the iron. And we wanted to give it a try this afternoon. So Jack, Doc Beaver, he got him a new heater, you know. He got one. came in this morning so he was raring to go he put his alkaline pack together and about four o'clock we decided we'd go down to the big rocks on the bay and give this iron program we've been working on i got my buddy mal from the uk he sent me one i downloaded it to the exchange and it was almost identical to the one i was working on i've been trying to copy the one that jody marco had on his video but I never could get it right. And the mistake I was making was I was trying to do everything in conductive and when I switched over to uh, two-tone Ferris, I pretty much nailed it on their nose. And when I got mouse program, all I had to do was increase the top tone to 925 or 950. Mine's still at 900, I think. I need to increase it a little bit. And I got the lower tone to 75. And smooth tones. I can tell you one thing. I don't like smooth. But I guess I'll have to get used to it. I used it for 45 minutes in this area right here. And then I had to switch over to the beach program. It was... I don't know. It's just the iron. There's so much iron there. And it's such a big, big chunks of iron. It's not... I don't know how to explain it to you. I don't know how... If I can move with it or not. But anyway, I switched back in the last two hours. I hunted in in the uh, iron program. Ferris coin, two-tone Ferris. Boy, it's noisy. It's smooth. Mm. But if you swing slow and listen, you can pluck some stuff out of there. If your nerves can take all that... Mm, mm, mm. God knows it drove me crazy. I did pick up a little bling earring, a little silver earring, some kind of brass doodad thing. Whatever you call this, it's a it's called an iPod, iPod, but it's like a music player, I think. Five quarters, no nickels, no dimes, only a few pennies. I mean, you see all the brass, a couple pieces of aluminum, and a stainless spoon. And a nice old car. I think uh, Denny, he couldn't stand the smooth iron program. He switched right out of it after about 15 minutes. I think a beaver did too. As like I said, I did as well. It's a tough program. I need to carry it back. We might try that spot again tomorrow. There's some some, uh, some stuff around that spot. It's uh, But the rocks are so bad, you know. I don't know. And the iron is unbelievable. Mm. I think we'll probably give it a go tomorrow in the morning if we can get up early enough. If not, the tide's going to be too late in the afternoon. The tide's low about 7, I think, in the morning. On the bay, that is. 6 in the land of Nala. I got no reports from Nala, so I don't know if anything went on down there today or not. Really windy. And it was supposed to rain. It sprinkled a little bit, but no major stuff like we had yesterday. Now, somebody else just emailed Hayhead. You know our buddy Hayhead that gives us a hard time from time to time. He said that brass box that we found the other day is a, some kind of electrical capacitor. Not an oil filter capacitor or whatever. Who knows what the hell that thing is. But anyway, it's, you know, it's something. I, uh, 
really like the uh, Helfa headphones with the gel packs on them. Make them very nice. Now, Beaver, when he ordered his CTX, he got a new set of uh, Grey Ghost CTX waterproof phones with it. As did Denny, but Denny just got his today. I mean, yesterday. Beaver got his today. Denny doesn't like them. They sound like the tones are low. And I tried them, and they, they are kind of low. I will have to agree with him that they're not as loud as the, he, he has. A, he uses that waterproof, what do you call it? Not waterproof, the uh, wireless job, the W. WM10, you know, it comes with the uh, CTX. And his uh, land phones is uh, Sunray. And uh, they're really nice phones. They're loud. And there's a different creature than the Detector Pro. I've never used any of the uh, Sunrays before. But they don't make a waterproof headphone, so... Hmm, I don't know. But I use Detector Pro... Original Grey goes for at least four or five years with my SE Pro, and they weren't waterproof. And they got many a many a wave crashed over them. They're getting a little rusty around the edges now, but they're still working. Knock on wood. I got to look into some phones. I may get to borrow either John's or either. Uh, Denny's tomorrow. I try the Grey Ghost ones. I've been talking to Gary Storm about them. He said I would like them, but I don't know. Now everybody's got the mumbles, even Beaver with his new ones. I'm looking for comments on those, on phones, waterproof phones for the CTX. If you guys are out there listening, give me a shout back. Okay. See you tomorrow, if the weather permits. It's going to be nasty, like they claim, but that's what they said today. It never was too bad. Take it easy.